What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here and today I'm going to be opening a Battle Styles Elite Trainer Box to see if we can make our money back on it. Now I'm not usually one to worry about values and things like that on you know Pokemon cards and product that I open and so on and so forth, I like doing this for fun. But today I do have a price sheet pulled up next to me on my computer and we're going to open this up and we're going to see if we can pull something good. I mean. A lot of the cards in this set run somewhere around two dollars. I'm usually I'm using TCG players, uh, their whole like index as a way to get my prices. So I have that right next to me. We're looking at it. The top cards look like the alternate for Tyranitar at seventy-five dollars. We've got the alternate for Urshifu, the Rapid Strike form, for fifty dollars. Empoleon V's alternate for forty dollars. And then it just keeps going down from there. But let's go ahead and dig into this box, see if we can pull something hopefully up there in that value range. That would be really crazy. But uh, I got this box on discount at Sam's Club. If you guys go to your local Sam's Club, they have these boxes uh, with a bunch of promos for them. And they're like $34.99 or $37.99, something like that. It's like six promos and either a Battle Styles box, a Fusion Strike box, or the other battle styles box <laughs> so let's go ahead and dig into this and see what we can get i think we all know what's in elite trainer box for now but i'm gonna go ahead and pull these packs out we'll count through them we got one two three four five six seven and eight we'll set those right there now as far as everything else goes if you guys want to earn this code card just make sure you like the video comment down below and make sure you're also subscribed to the channel you'll see a comment a uh, reply to your comment with a code card Let's go ahead and uh, check out those sleeves there. You also get a brick of energy, some dividers, some damage counters, and some dice. We can probably put the value of all this stuff around 3 to $5, but we're not going to do that unless we absolutely need to. So let's go ahead and push this off to the side and see if we can just get our value back from the pulls themselves. All right, so we got eight packs of battle styles, and like I said, there is not, you know, the craziest amount of value in this set, but... There are some pretty cool cards, and I think that, uh, you know, Battle Styles is kind of one of those sets that it's a little bit underrated right now. And the reason why is because with the new uh, with the new regulation we're going to be getting, it's going to be changing out from D to E. So all the, I'll show you in a second, let's say Fire Energy. We got Lightning Energy. Okay, and we'll put that off to the side, and we'll use this first card as an example. So... Uh, regulation marks are that little box down there next to the set number and the set logo. So the E in that box is the regulation mark. Battle Styles is within regulation for the 2023 TCG competitive season. And right here is one of the reasons why I'm saying that this is actually a pretty important set. Energy Recycler is actually a really good card. And this card is only a couple of cents right now. It's like 15 cents or 20 cents or something like that. But that's a really good card and I can see its value going up in the future. And so we got Spiro, Onyx, Bellsprout, the reverse is a Stone Jorner, and the rare is a Holographic Crobat. I'm not going to count anything that's not a V or better just for the sake of, you know, what really will sell and so on and so forth. But like I said, a lot of these trainer cards, whether they be item cards or supporters or something like that, there's a bunch of them in here that are actually really useful. And hopefully we can get it you know see a couple of them so that we can at least go hey this is this is one of those cards but let's say uh let's say leaf energy here we've got a fire energy to start us off or well that's our second pack but fire energy we got bruno mustard morpico lickitung yamper scatterbug mr mime spoink the reverse is a victory bell and the rare is a full art mimic uv check that out now I'm going to have to go ahead and make a guess that this is probably one of those 2 to $5 cards. But we'll go ahead and real quickly, I'm going to just take a quick look off to the side here to see if I can find it really fast. So the Full Art Mimic UV is actually $6. Look at that. Okay, so we're, we made $6 already. How, how wonderful. So we had $35 into the box to begin with, and we're at $6. That's not too bad. All right, let's see what we can get from this next pack. We have our third pack here. If we can actually make our money back on this box, that would be insane because the truth is is that buying Pokemon cards to make money is really, really difficult. Unless you're pulling super, super good pulls, you're probably not going to be making money. But let's go ahead and say a Psychic Energy. Oh, check that out. We got to guess the energy correct. All right. That's probably the only one we'll get right, but hopefully we can get a couple more. We've got Crawdont here, Glammeow. 
Tepig, Timber, Ponyard, Cacnea, the reverse is a Salandit, and the rare is a Vivillion. Vivillion? Vivillion. Vivillion. Wow, what a... I actually... I know I've seen the Pokemon. I just haven't had to say its name too many times in the past, so... That was that was difficult. All right, let's get into let's get into our fourth pack here. This is the halfway point for the booster box. We've made six dollars, six dollars so far. Yeah. So like I said, it's not it's not easy to make money opening Pokemon cards. But again, you're not really like I said, it's not really meant to be making money. You're, this is for fun, especially for me. If you ask me, I just have a lot of fun doing this. Let's say a Lightning Energy. We get Metal Energy. All right, we'll pop that off to the side here. We've got ourselves an Urn of Vitality. Spupa, Spupa, another one that I haven't had to encounter too much. Cherubi, Mowile, Onyx, Remoraid, Zubat, Camping Gear Reverse, and Boltoned as the rare. All right, so, I mean, so far we're, I mean, I still think we're doing great with the full art Mimikyu, honestly. That's a pretty, pretty rare card, in my opinion. It'd be a pretty difficult pull if you opened up a box searching specifically for that card. I don't think you're going to get it that easily. Not as easy as we did, but there you go. Here's a code card for you guys. We'll toss it off to the side. But just in case we don't come across some more of these important trainer cards I was talking about, a couple of them would be Tool Jammer. And I was going to guess Water Energy, so we're just going to count that one. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we got Fan of Waves, Dotler, Dublade, Hone Edge, a little bit of a de-evolution there, Houndour, Frillish, Silly Cobra, Bruno as the reverse, and the rare is an Aegislash. So Bruno there is a somewhat okay supporter, I would say. Not the greatest, but a couple of uh, a couple of the other item and trainer cards that I was talking about would be like Tool Jammer. Tool Jammer is uh, going to be incredibly more useful as time goes on because V Maxes are still useful in the TCG, you know, in play, but the thing is is that as V-Stars make their way onto the field, they're going to need ways of taking out V-Maxes, and one of the best ways of doing that is with a choice belt. Let's say a Dark Energy. Oh, check that out. We cast two of them in this video. All right, that's not too bad. It's, that's probably one of the best we've done. But, yeah, so if you have a Tool Jammer, then a choice belt doesn't work, so that can make, like, Arceus... Uh, V-Star a little less capable of doing a one-hit knockout to your, say, uh, Mew V-Max or something like that. But let's see what we get behind this Murkrow. We've got a holographic Sandaconda. Probably coming in somewhere around 20 cents. But <laughs> let's go ahead and put that off to the side. But we're not counting those. We're only counting the stuff that could actually sell. So in my opinion, that would be like V's, V-Maxes, things like that. Let's go ahead and see what we can get here. We have ourselves a code card for you guys. This is actually our second to last pack, so wish us some luck, hopefully, in one of these final packs here. Get some last pack magic or second to last pack magic, maybe even. Let's say a, what have we not said, fighting energy? We got grass energy. Shout out unlisted leaf with the leaf energy there. We've got urn of vitality, girder, Seedra, murkrow, bronzor, bellsprout, Electabuzz, Gligar, Cacnea as the reverse, and the rare is a Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme, uh, you gotta love him, right? All right, we're digging into our final pack here, you guys. Let me know in the comments, do you think we got even close to making our money back? Do you guys like battle styles? And what do you guys think about all the trainer cards that I've talked about, or if they will become viable in this next rotation? I mean, the rotation's basically here. It's just a couple of weeks or a couple of months away, maybe, at the most. But let's see what we can get here from our last pack. Uh, there was, let's see if we can think of uh, the other the other cards from this set that I was talking about. We had uh, the Energy Recycler, the, let's go ahead and guess, a Lightning Energy. Well, check out three Energy guesses for this video. Awesome, fantastic. All right, we got Phoebe, Carnivine, Fero, Ponyard, Cubone, Remoraid, Fomantis, Slowpoke, the reverse is the Galarian, Mr. Mime, and the rare is a Lurantis. All right, you guys, looks like the only pull we got from that box was going to be our Mimic UV full art. And like I said, the value that it shows here on TCG Player is $6.70. So $35 turned into $6.00. There you guys go. If you guys thought you, you know, were wondering if you could make money opening Pokemon cards, the truth is it's incredibly difficult. 
But like I said, with this set specifically, I think that there's a chance that it could do better in the future. And that's the thing about it, is as long as a set is useful in either play, or if it has a bunch of really sought-after cards in it, then you can potentially make money. Thanks again for checking out this video, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.